I got an answering machine for my phone. Now when I'm not home and someone calls me up, they hear a recording of a busy signal. <laughs> I like to leave messages before the beep. <laughs> Sorry, my mind was wandering. One time my mind went all the way to Venus and ordered a meal I couldn't pay for. <laughs> I have a map of the United States, it's actual size. <laughs> it says one mile equals one mile. People ask me where I live, I say E5. <laughs> where do you live? E5. <laughs> I bought one of those little glass ball things with the snow in it. You turn it upside down, then you turn it back, and it starts snowing. I bought one. Except the one I have has a little plow in it that comes out and does the roads. <laughs> Good, I like it. Last night I was in a bar and I walked up to this beautiful woman and I said, do you live around here often? She said, you're wearing two different color socks. I said, yes, but to me they're the same because I go by thickness. And she said, how do you feel? And I said, well, you know, when you're sitting on a chair and you lean back, so you're just on two legs and then you lean too far and you almost fall over with just at the last second and you catch yourself. I feel like that all the time. <laughs> I broke a mirror in my house and I'm supposed to get seven years bad luck, but my lawyer thinks he can get me five. <laughs> I finally went to the eye doctor, I got contacts, but I only need them when I read, so I got flip-ups. <laughs> I came on my desk right next to my typewriter. I have the oldest typewriter in the world. Types in pencil. <laughs> Under my bed, I have a shoebox full of telephone rings, and whenever I get lonely, I open it up just a little bit, and I get a call. <laughs> One time, I dropped the box all over the floor, and the phone wouldn't stop ringing. <laughs> so I had to have it disconnected. I got another phone, though. I didn't have much money, so I had to get an irregular phone. It had no five on it. Phone had no number five. I was walking down the street and I bumped into a good friend of mine. He said, how come you never call me anymore? I said, I can't call everyone I want. My phone has no five on it. He said, that's really weird. He said, how long have you had it? I said, I don't know. My calendar has no sevens. I got up the other day and everything in my apartment had been stolen and replaced with an exact replica. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I called my friend and I said, come here, look at this stuff. It's all an exact replica. What do you think? He said, do I know you? I bought one of those little glass ball things with the snow in it. Just checking. The human body is made up of 98% water. That means everybody is that far away from drowning. <laughs> I live in a house that's on a median strip of a highway. It's good, I like it. The only thing I don't like about it is when I leave my driveway, I have to be going 60 miles an hour. <laughs> One night a jet flew a little bit too close to my house. I was walking from the living room to the kitchen and the stewardess told me to sit down. <laughs> I was cleaning out my closet and I found an old bathing suit that I had made out of sponges. I remember one time I ordered into a pool and I left and no one could go swim until I came back. <laughs> I 
in my bedroom, I have a nightlight, I have a search nightlight. It goes back and forth across the room like this. If I have to get up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom, I have to time it so I don't get caught. walking my dog around my building on the ledge. A lot of people are afraid of heights, not me, I'm afraid of widths. I have a three-year-old dog and named him Stay. He was a lot of fun when he was a puppy because when I call him I would say, come here, Stay, come here, Stay. And he would go. a lot smarter than that now. Now when I call him, just ignore me and keep on typing. He's an East German Shepherd. My girlfriend has a queen size bed. I have a court jester size bed. It's red and green and has bells on it. The ends curl up. I woke up one morning, she asked me if I slept good. I said, no, I made a few mistakes. <laughs> when I was little in our backyard, we had a quicksand box. I was an only child, eventually. <laughs> one time the police stopped me for speeding and they said, oh, you know, the speed limit is 55 miles an hour. He said, yeah, I know, but I wasn't going to be out that long. <laughs> I used to be a waiter. I was fired for clearing tables. I was clearing them for takeoff. <laughs> and them all lined up outside. <laughs> People thought it was an outdoor cafe. I said, no, these are leaving at three. They were going to fire me anyway because I told them I think they should put the wrapper on a straw on the inside because that's the part that you don't want to get dirty. <laughs> I like to skate on the other side of the ice. I like to reminisce with people I don't know. I like to fill my tub up with water, then turn the shower on and act like I'm in a submarine that's been hit. <laughs> and I hate when my foot falls asleep during the day, because that means it's going to be up all night. <laughs> to drive downtown and get a great parking spot, then sit in my car and count how many people ask me if I'm leaving. <laughs> Can't remember the rest. Right now I'm having amnesia and deja vu at the same time. When I was a baby, I kept a diary. Recently, I was rereading, and it said, day one, still tired from the move. <laughs> day two, everybody talks to me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> Last time I went skiing, I had to get up at 5.30 in the morning. No, I knew I couldn't do that, so I slept with my skis on. My ride came at 5.30 in the morning. He couldn't wake me up, so he carried me out of the house, put my skis onto the roof rack of the car, and drove right to the mountain. <laughs> 17 miles away, I woke up by this incredibly bizarre dream that I was skydiving horizontally. <laughs> but I'm sure that's happened to you. <laughs> I 
I spilled spot remover on my dog, now he's gone. <laughs> I got up this morning, I couldn't find my socks, so I called information. I said, hello, information? She said, yes. I said, I can't find my socks. She said, they're behind the couch. And they were. I'm tired of calling up the movies and listening to that recording of what's playing. So I bought the album. Last time I went to the movies, I was thrown out for bringing my own food in. My argument was the concession stand prices are outrageous. Besides, I haven't had a barbecue in a long time. <laughs> I went to the cinema, adults $5, children $2.50. I said, all right, give me two boys and a girl. One time I went to the drive-in in a cab. <laughs> the movie cost me $95. <laughs> I went to a place to eat, it said breakfast anytime, so I ordered French toast during the Renaissance. <laughs> I just got out of the hospital, I was in a speed reading accident. I hit a bookmark. <laughs> Flew across the room. I've been doing a lot of painting lately, abstract painting, extremely abstract, no brush, no canvas. I just think about it. One time I went to a museum where all the work in the museum had been done by children. They had all the paintings up on refrigerators. I left the museum and I was walking down the street. I saw a man who had wooden legs and real feet. <laughs> he asked me if I knew what time it is. I said, yes, but not right now. <laughs> the ice cream truck in my neighborhood plays Elder Skelter. <laughs> called the wrong number today. I said, hello, is Joey there? And a woman answered, she said, yes, he is. I said, can I speak to him, please? She said, no, he can't talk right now. He's only two months old. I said, all right, I'll wait. One time right in the middle of a job interview, I took out a book and I started reading. The guy said, what the hell are you doing? I said, let me ask you one question. If you were in a vehicle and you were traveling at the speed of light, then you turned your lights on, would they do anything? <laughs> he said, I don't know. I said, forget it then. I don't want to work for you. <laughs>